because we're not Pac-Man case and we don't have a whole week. We're going to do this shit in three days. Why are you so angry? Because I don't have time. Jeez. Jeez. This video was inspired by Pac-Man Case. Obviously, he did his seven-day yes. thrift. I suggest going and checking that out. Also, and all the great thrifters. And all the great thrifters. All the great thrifters. A uh, couple of them that we watch on the regular is uh, Gaming Off the Grid and then also Retro Rick. Yep. So, um, this, is, this video is basically inspired by those channels. Our idea was, can we actually thrift like they do in a small city. Would we be able to thrift and resell and make a collection? We're going to see today if that's true, but we took it a step further. Not only did we thrift, but we also did pond. So we're gonna kind of do a thrift, thrift versus, versus pond. pond and see where we got the better value. Because we are pond people first, we're gonna go first with our ponds. I think let's go parlor first, Yep. That's the place we tend to go to the most. It's the closest one to Let's us. Let's not even obviously. say the place we tend to go to the most. That's the place we go the most. We'll just be like, Probably. I'm bored. Do you want to go to the parlor? Yeah. yeah, sure. I even went one day just because I went on a walk and I was like, I should stop in and see them. It's because it's so easy. It's so convenient. It's very close. I'll start off with this one then. Oh. Something I love is my original Xbox. So I got Metal Slug 4 and 5. I found it. Well, it's not like I wouldn't have found it. No, but I found no. it first. Complete copy. Complete copy. Well, I should show it this way. Yeah. You know, Ridge Racer 7. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's fun. <laughs> yeah. And Future Tactics, the uprising on the uh, PS2. All I know is it's a two player. Yeah, and it looked cool. It kind of looks cool on the back. Um, I haven't tried it yet, but. For, Give it a try. for two bucks. Well, yeah, two bucks. I'll take a chance on any game there pretty much for two bucks. Exactly. Now, this game I picked up because of gaming off the grid. Batman the Brave and the Bold the video game on the Wii. Yeah. This was, I can't remember the title of the video, but I think it was something like It was a couch co-ops. Co they're maybe their favorite couch co-ops or Do you know whatever. what was crazy? We don't see this out in the wild very often. I think I might have seen it before. Yeah, but, but not never often. thought of it there. Or maybe I just didn't. It didn't clue in. We yeah. saw it twice. Seen it twice in the same Two day. different places, yeah. yeah. We just happened to pick it up at the parlor. Now we got Guitar Hero Warriors of Rock. This yeah, is my kind of music. This oh, is a yeah. friggin' good one here. So I had, uh, I think. Probably the digital copy. Well, I mean, there's three mm. Megadeth songs on here, so you can't go wrong. All right. I uh, also got Xenoblade Chronicles on the Wii, and I didn't know when I picked it up, but it is sealed. Now, you got a couple of strategy guides here. You jumped all over these suckers, and then you had instant regrets, right? I did have instant regrets because, and you'll see. And you'll see later on. Later why. on, why. No, I didn't pull the sticker off. You didn't pull the sticker off. Oh. <laughs> No, they weren't a bad price. Um, we got yeah, we Red Dead Redemption. Far Cry Primal, Primal Collector's Edition Guide. This yeah, is a hard, hard cover. cover. It's pretty cool. It is very cool. Um, we paid $9.95 each of these. Yeah. You instantly had a little regret. I do think you got a good deal with this one there. I don't know anything about it, but... I still feel like I got a good deal with Red Dead Redemption. Yeah. Um, this this one, the, the spine's not even cracked. It's brand no. new. And so. do you know what? Even with this one with the sticker on it, because it has a plasticky coating to the front, I swear by Try to get them Mean Green, Mean Green will clean anything. And this is not a promo or some sort of whatever for this. Like, I'm not getting royalties from Mean Green, but I do use that shit on everything. Like, people use hot sauce and everything. But this is my hot, this is my hot sauce, green clean, Mean Green. So this ended up being a bit of a spendy day. Oh, you think? Yeah, so when we were walking around the store, Scott said to me, there's a couple games I'd like to get, but they're pricier. I'm like, but what are they? And you're like, I don't want to tell you because I will say get them every time. And I know you're like, no, no woman's ever said that. I do, I know they're <clears> gonna go up in value. I know they're 
you know, value of games. Anyways, so we walked over to where the Sega Genesis games were, and Scott got this. Mega Turrican. Mega Turrican. On the Sega Genesis. Yes. It's a pricey game. <laughs> it's a pricey game, but it was listed even lower than price charting. Yep. And where it's one that's a little bit more difficult to get, I was like, get it, let's get it. So continue on with yes. your So I had him take story. it out of the case. I'm like, we're going to get this one. Do you want to put it behind or should we hang on to it? And they're like, no, that's fine. So I saw somebody come in and they pulled out the entire stack of Sega Genesis games. And I'm like, he had been in here and I thought he was trying to trade some games too. He wanted this game. And I was like, is this what you're looking for? And Literally I a minute or two. A minute or two. And he's like, we took yeah. And I was like, ah, got it first. Sorry. And yeah. I felt bad. I this was like, old... I didn't mean like that, but it's happened to us too. And oh, he was going to trade time. his games to get this game. Look, I, you saved him some regrets. We saved... You know, I always regret stuff. He ended up, we ended up seeing him. He followed us the rest Several of the day. Several stores. I think down he was gonna slash line. my tires. <laughs> Several stores down the line, and we were always like two minutes ahead of him. Two minutes ahead He's of him. Following us. I think so. So anyway, slash our tires. We got lucky. Right. We got that. That was a pretty good haul. It was a great haul. Lots of good games. Yeah, there. yeah. For what um, we paid for everything, I think yeah. we made some value there, and I'm not upset about it. So the next place we stopped was Nerful Things. Um, I've got another dinger. Mm -hmm. I thought it was pretty cool, but I'm gonna go through the other ones first. Yes. Azura's Wrath. Now somebody had traded in a, a lot of games. We're talking like 300. We're games talking worth. four thousand dollars worth of games. Games, games, games. Like, yeah. This was a hot weekend. This was, and then also that weekend at Perler, five thousand dollars worth yep. of games. So Tax we went time, out. People. We went out at the right time. This looks like you just tore the plastic That's, off. That's yeah. It's amazing. And there were boxes upon there were boxes. Boxes and boxes of them. It's mint. There was one amazing box of stuff that had all very high ticket ticket items in it and we were lucky enough that we, we had, had quite most a of those. bit of the stuff and mm -hmm. other stuff we just it hadn't yep. didn't interest us so we kind of passed anyways uh another thing was near near i don't know a whole lot about this game other uh i know i've seen other channels talk mm -hmm. about it and i said well i i gotta get that and then as after i had pointed it out to you there was a guy that was talking to us at Nerdful Things, and he was looking at the same bunch mm -hmm. with us, and he had, yeah, near. that's a good game. Yeah. Like, yeah, I know, I know. I don't know personally, because I haven't played it yet, but I... I, I I've heard. I, yeah, people say it's a great game. It's another Sega Genesis game. It is one that I... Same with Mega Turk, and I was shocked to see it yeah. around town. It's got a little rip on it, but it is The Punisher. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, I, I know this is a sought after game. And I asked them, because I didn't see the tag, because they have a tag, the price is on the back. Travis went and checked it out. I'm gonna think about it, because we were doing our like three said, day. It was a spendy week. I, we knew we were gonna spend a lot. Yeah. You know, we knew we knew this going into it, we had money set aside, this is the big yeah. thing, we're gonna have fun with this. He came back at me with a price I could not yeah. pass up. And as we were cashing out and leaving, he uh, put it in a brown paper bag. He said, make sure you let them know I gave you the brown paper bag special. He did. He gave us so a brown paper bag special. It, I won't say how much, but he did give us $30 off. It was a great what, yeah, yeah, it was a really great deal, really great and we deal. truly appreciate it. Yep. At Matt's Media, I got one game, but Jen bought a bunch of t-shirts. We Yeah. I Every time I go to <clears> Matt's <throat> Media, that's the first place I go. I love vintage t-shirts or just t-shirts I can't find anywhere else. Band t-shirts, character t-shirts, like Marvel stuff, game yep. stuff. I want those t-shirts. As you can see, <laughs> yeah. I'm a big t-shirt fan. So the only game I got there was Final Fantasy XI mm -hmm. on the 360. The manual, like it's just, everything is great shape, like perfect. All right, so Jen's gonna model some shirts for you. So sparkly! Batman. Batman, the brave and the gold. Cause you can make it gold or you can make it silver. All right, so you're gonna try, we're gonna try these on, but you're not gonna get to see the show guys, all right? So we got Batman. 
So make them gold, Scott. Make oh, them yeah. gold. I'm just I'm doing this for the viewers. <laughs> for the viewers. Get your hair out of the way. So yeah. So if you get tired of gold, you, you, you get to go <laughs> silver. <laughs> this shirt is a good investment. It says. All right. I wouldn't be caught dead in a zombie apocalypse. I got this because of Glenn's retro show when he was knee Glenn. <laughs> Remember? Yes. I want it. Yeah. So I had to get this because it was it was hilarious to me, and I'm gonna put this one on too. I almost didn't get Does this one. Does it do one. the same thing? <laughs> no, it doesn't. Do okay. This. I almost didn't get this one. I almost didn't get this one because I don't necessarily like tight t-shirts, but Scott's like, it'll fit, it'll fit, it'll fit. I like tight t-shirts. <laughs> this one's so cool. It says, I am a nightmare. Accurate. Sometimes. I am a nightmare. <laughs> I said that a little too proud. And one last shirt, guys. One, one last, last shirt. shirt. They're just, I know. Hang with My us. favorite shirt. We're gonna get we're gonna get to more games here. Yes. There you go. I always look for shirts, so I had to. Metallica! 2008-2009 World Magnetic Tour. This one's more my fit and style. Stop it. This one's more my fit and style because it's kind of like it's kind of like boyfriend comfy t-shirt fit. All the shirts were six dollars each, and I feel like that's a really good deal because Vintage yeah. shirts are hard to find. Yeah, yeah, and they're great shape. This one is from Moncton Pond. So I have uh, Time Splitters 2 on the original Xbox. Again, complete. Great shape. Great shape. And then I picked up a loose copy of Alex Kidd in Miracle World yeah. for the Master System. I don't have a huge, I don't, uh, I don't have very many. I might have six games on the Master System. Yeah, somewhere. it's hard to find. They're a little bit harder to they're find. They're really here. hard to find right here. And then we have. Spin it. Spin it. One last stop. And they're all PS3 games. We, they are. So I have Azura's Wrath again. <laughs> because if you get out of the 360, you need on the PS3, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is yours. Talk about your game. Uh, Majin and the Forsaken Kingdom. It looks really cool. That's it. That's why she got it. <laughs> have I seen gameplay of it? No. You didn't even, have, you didn't even see gameplay? It, but it's, it, it got a good rating and it was a game style that I liked. Okay. So I, I assumed I would like it. I'm pretty forgiving with games. I like most of them. And this game I had tried in the past and didn't care for it the first time I tried it, but yes. I had recently played through Bayonetta and the first time I played Bayonetta was around the same time and I didn't like that the first time yes. I tried it and then I played through it this time and loved it. So I want to give this another chance. It's wet. It's not wet. It's completely dry. Oh. Ah, dad jokes. That's it. So that's our last. So that's the all of the pawn. At the end of this video, we're going to total everything up and show you guys the value we actually got out of each. All right. Now we're going to get into our thrift store stuff. Our and thrift portion of the video. Thrift portion of the video. Now we did hit, um, there were two Salvation Armies. So I get that we're looking at Xbox One and PS4 games. But that's a little bit much. And then sports titles and DS games that aren't really worth anything and then some guides. I don't I don't know. Not great prices. I just wanted to say after going into uh Salvation Army thrift store yesterday, I'm not holding out a lot of hope that we're gonna find it. We didn't yeah. even bother really we took small little short clips in there because there was really nothing. Alright, let's look through this stack. Again, a few sports titles. And oh, what do we have here? Battlefield Hardline. $5.99. Nope. And oh, one last one down here. Madden 15. $2.99. No. Mission Thrift. We're heading into Mission Thrift. We've never been in here before. Nope. Fairly new to Moncton, maybe I'm like two years ago. To thrift. To thrift. You just had to interrupt me and not let me Mask talk. On. We have a couple icon controllers, uh, wired controllers, GameCube and Wii. I'm gonna pass on them. Maybe they would have been a good flip. Then we have Seen It, where we already have this in the collection, and for ten dollars, there's not really a lot of return on investment on that. And uh, Frenchies, right? Yeah. 
So we're gonna give Frenchies a try. I've been here before, but never for games. And people say that I've found deals before. So we have a grant. Oh, it's missing a disc. So that's definitely going back. Yeah, we can't do that. Let's see, we have a few other titles. Nothing spectacular, some sports games. Really nothing to write home about. I'm gonna be quite honest, there was only one store that had anything, and that was Value Village. Yeah, so the, everything you're gonna see is from Value, Value Village. Value Village. The rest of them, it was absolutely, there was nothing game related that we were wasn't. looking for. There was nothing. The couple of games that we, de we did see was, it was laughable, like the prices. Like, I could get it cheaper at a pawn shop. As you guys know, we acquired um, Zelda 2. Yes, sealed. Sealed. Sealed, and if you have mm. not seen that video, go back and, go back check, and it check it out. Check it out. It's actually a now, whole mini series. Yeah, so the what happened is I took some of these games that I got at Value Village, mm -hmm. and because I got them for a pretty decent price, I traded them in and made a little bit of A little bit of profit. So I had two PSP games, uh, Final Fantasy Tactics and Kingdom Hearts. And we had Dance Dance Revolution 2 on the Wii. Uh, we had Super Smash Bros. on a 3DS. 3DS. And we had Yu-Gi-Oh! I can't remember the rest of the name. Of uh, it Forbidden from, Memories. Forbidden Memories I for do believe PlayStation, PlayStation 1. 1. We got those because they were good prices. We yep. knew we could get some I value back. I was just going to flip them and just get a little bit of profit there. Yep. So, and this was the whole point of this video was can, can we thrift here yes. in our small city and resell? Now, I'm sure if I resold those, if I was patient, we would have made more money on them. But I... Don't want to go through the hassle of eBay and no. all that stuff. No, and I, that's fantastic. Something for the came people up. People that do, if they have yep. that ability, and they can, you know, we just don't. We're, we're some yeah, people don't like the resellers. You know what? We found it the hard way that it's not easy. It's not. So they're the putting amount a lot of time, of time that goes into yep. that. You should be making some money back from that. Yeah, Absolutely. you damn well should. Yeah. Why not? Continue collecting. Yeah, you know. build your collection. Who needs to go broke for their collection if they don't have to? So let's get into the pile of stuff that we actually did keep. You want to do another t-shirt? I just got this one on. You can just show them. Then. Okay, fine. This one was four bucks and I love it. It's Superman t-shirt. I don't have one yet. Right? Okay, fine. I'll fucking change it. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Before you change it, get back here. I have one thing I want to show you guys, and then we will scoot off camera. We'll do a oh. t-shirt swap. I found this little gem at Value Village. <laughs> it is a Hooters girl. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go over and fill it up there full of beer. and uh, I'm going to do a costume change, and you're going to get me a beer, too. She's got legs. And some head. Okay. Yeah, you have to do it from the back side, or she uh, gives you a lot of head. See? Still gives you a lot of head. Ah, awesome! So I filled up my glass and you filled up your t-shirt. I filled up my t-shirt. <laughs> you have my Superman t-shirt on. We kind of struck her pretty good on strategy guides. Yes. Um, and the uh, prices on strategy guides at Value Village is really good. Yes. Especially if you buy in bulk then you get a discount and then yep. you get one free. Yep. So I feel like we didn't pay more than $7 for all of these. For all one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. So yeah, yep. something like that. We didn't pay much at all. Splinter Cell, Pandora tomorrow. We have Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. Yep. Splinter Cell Stealth Action Redefined. <laughs> I've actually tried that one. Splinter Cell Blacklist. And Splinter Cell Double Agent. I feel like this one would be more what I would enjoy. Maybe. Yeah, because I think the style of game has changed um, from the first one where it's very stealth, and I'm not stealth at all. <laughs> you know me. I did keep one of the PSP games from that lot, and that was the uh, God of War Chains of Olympus. Yes. So. It's a God of War game. Yeah, I you think I only, yeah, sticker's still in there. I only paid, I paid $6.99. The rest of the games that I got 
were the last day that I went. Yes. I went on like a Tuesday morning, mm -hmm. literally when it opened up. You just got lucky. I think I got lucky. Yeah. Now, as I pulled into the parking lot, the lineup, there was a lineup. There's a lineup every damn day for Valley Village. Yeah. Where it opens. I think it's the same people going in, those people looking for the high price electronics at yep. a reduced price, obviously, yep. the games, just stuff like that, like yep. what you guys would all go to a Valley Village well, yeah. for toys. I went in, I was literally at the end of the line when I went in. And as I walked in, I see a guy standing there with literally a stack of GameCube games that he's looking at that he pulled a case from. I home. know. And I had this, fuck, <laughs> you know? Yeah. I missed out like on like two minutes, not even. He ends up taking two games out of the stack of probably, I would say seven or eight games. Kills me to this day I didn't that even we want don't to look. know what the two games I were. I don't even want to look at it. But I, I did overhear him because I was standing like within three feet of him. Just kind of like, <laughs> you're going to get those games? You're going to get those? Yeah. You know? And you're supposed to keep six feet. But yeah. Scott was like. I don't care. <laughs> apparently not. So anyway, anything. he grabbed two out. And he told the woman behind the counter, he said, there's the only two games that I don't have in my collection. And he gave the rest back to her. Yeah. I like, yeah. I have Star Fox Adventures. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what I paid for them at Value Village. So you guys can know what I got for value. It was stickers right there. It's upside down. It's $24.99. $24 it's complete. I only grabbed the games that were complete. So I have Star Fox Assault. Um... I'm not too familiar with any of the games. Any of the Star Fox games? Yeah. Yeah. This one is also complete. Um, I see, I, keep, I always keep my receipts. I don't know if you guys do that, but I keep my yeah, receipts. Yeah, just to kind of look back and be like, yeah. oh my god, that's so if for I ever this do now. trade or whatever, or know what I got for them. Yeah. And But I paid $39.99. Yeah. And I know some of you are going, <gasps> you paid that much for it, Valley Village? No. We don't get, yeah, this, there's no. Yeah, this is the thing there. Yeah. Like, I think thrift. I wish I could say that was a $4 game at Valley yeah, Village, no, but it's it wasn't. Not. I, for when it comes to thrifting, they're like, when it comes to games, they know what they're getting. Now, yeah. this game here, Oh. this is a, a little bit of a story to this one. Yeah. But it's Mario Kart Double Dash. What I paid for is forty nine ninety nine. Forty nine ninety nine. I I knew this game goes for a little bit more than that, so I was more than happy to grab that. We went back the following Saturday because I got this on a Tuesday. Yeah. They had another copy of this exact same game. Yep. And they wanted seventy nine ninety nine. And we went back again this morning, a week later. So it was it's been there for not quite two weeks. Yeah. And it's still sitting there. Nah, at as Value it should Vill be. Like eighty, you want eighty dollars plus your tax at Value Village. It, it was a little bit. Did pick up two other games real quick. Yeah. Cruising USA for the N64 and Cruising Exotica. Exotica. Yeah. Uh, they were both six ninety nine, so I was willing to grab them. Yeah. N64. And games. they're both worth more than that. The, yep. I think in the twenty dollar range. At the end of our whole experience here of thrifting and stuff, um, we have uh, we I, added Valley Village into our rotation. Do we get something every week? No. No, because no. we were there today and got nothing. No. Um, it looks like it's a great place to pick up strategy guides if they're there. If they're there. But for the most part, they kind of know how much the games go for. Yes. They may be a little better priced than a pawn shop, but not extreme. No, it's not extreme for sure. Those games, the GameCube games, like I could probably flip them, but I don't know what you guys think. I don't feel like there's a lot of meat on the bone, there's especially not... if I have to ship them and pay eBay fees and stuff like that. Yeah. So in conclusion, I... I think I was correct where I don't think that we could thrift around here yeah. and resell in order to build my collection. I don't think it's feasible around here. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you like, if you like this, then uh, maybe we'll do some more of it. I feel like you have a trench coat. If you like this. <laughs> do I like it? No, maybe we'll do some more of this. Let us know. And until next time, do you want to cheers me with your... Titty side or yeah, titty. booty side? I'll go real gentle. Game on!